Good morning, everyone. Ruman72, back with another informative video as usual. If you like my videos, hit that subscribe button. It would help me out quite a bit. It's going to be a very quick video, so let me, let me get right to my point. Uh, I read a very interesting story the other day. Apparently, the Pentagon has acknowledged that they believe that there's a very large spaceship way up in space, out in, out in the solar system, and that it has what they believe to be smaller baby ships that are being used as scouts, if you will, to scout out life on other planets. And when I heard that story, I said, now, where have I heard that before? That is not a new story. Where have I heard that? I got to thinking, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. For those of you who do not know, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was a very wise black man um, who was a spiritual leader and he, he's been considered by many the godfather of black pride. He helps, he helped spread the Islamic faith amongst black people in North America. And um, very interesting man. But way back in the 1930s, he taught about, he didn't call it the mother ship, he called it the mother plane. And he said it was a very large ship with smaller ships or baby planes um, that were very powerful. And he said this ship, was up in space. Now, when he came out with his teachings, the white man called him crazy. He was a crazy old black man, and that's science fiction. But we know the white man studied the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's teachings behind closed doors. So the white man has known of the mother plane or the mother ship of its, of its, its existence for many, 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 many years. The question thus becomes, why is he coming out now and talking about it? I believe that part of the reason is, is that he can't hide it anymore. Everybody has video cameras. Everybody is videotaping these things flying around the sky. You have military pilots. You have commercial pilots who keep seeing UFOs. So he can't hide it anymore. He's got to come out and acknowledge it to a certain extent. Although I do believe that he knows more than what he's, he's, he's admitting to. And, um, you know, I think maybe he's afraid he's going to get attacked one day. That whatever this thing is up there in space is going to come after him. And I say him because he's the one causing all the problems on the planet. It ain't the black man causing problems. Whatever technology the white man thinks he may have, he is no match for whatever there is up there. It'll knock all his damn airplanes and missiles out of the sky. That's why he's trying to build up his air force and, 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 and build all these, these top secret stealth bombers and all this other stuff. But if if this mother plane is real, and I don't have any reason to believe that it's not real, whatever he has is no match for it. So he's scared. Kind of reminds me of the Independence Day movie. And I've always said that a lot of these movies that Hollywood makes, there's always fantasy, but they mix in an element of truth. So if you guys don't believe me, just go pull up, pull up an article for yourself. Just type in Pentagon Mothership. And then see what you come up with. Some very interesting stuff. But I just thought I'd let you guys know that. Um, take a look at it for yourself. 